Last year, we paid out $45 million in, in prize money. Players' Lounge is democratizing the ability to make money playing video games, and we're allowing underrepresented communities who may not be able to afford a $5,000 PC the opportunity to make money playing video games. You can be a competitive gamer, a less competitive gamer, but you come to Players' Lounge, you, you put a little bit of money into your Players' Lounge wallet, and we connect you with people who want to do the same thing that, that you do, which is compete and, and win a little money doing it. We have some players who earn five figures on a yearly basis, so like fifty to $75,000 every year. My name is Austin, CEO and co-founder of Players Lounge, and this is my hustle. Our main customer is someone who works a nine to five and wants to come home and, and kind of blow off some steam by playing video games for a couple hours. You can go on Players Lounge and add an extra layer of excitement to your normal gaming time. And that extra layer of excitement is derived from just putting an extra $5 on your normal video game and you could potentially win. We mostly focus on sports titles. Those include Madden, NBA 2K, FIFA, but we also have Call of Duty and Fortnite. The most popular game on our platform is Madden. So I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to use Players Lounge. Here is the home screen. Uh, right now, there is an open match for $100 that I can grab. I don't wanna play an $100 match, so I'm going to create my own. Madden 21, Lounge Rules, and I wanna play for $10. Jay Kidd just joined, and I'm gonna to go to the match. Now I review the rules, confirm the rules. So now you go to your console and you add your opponent as a friend and play that person in a friendly game of Madden. So I just got done playing, I won, and I won my $18, GG's. We try to figure out how good you are and match you up with somebody who's at a similar skill level. We don't want someone who's working a nine to five to be playing against someone who plays FIFA professionally. It's a little bit like skill rankings work in chess, where if you beat somebody who's a lot better than you, then your skill ranking goes up. If you lose to somebody who's a lot worse than you, your skill ranking might go down a lot. When I was in college, I went to Wesleyan in Connecticut and I played soccer there. And when we couldn't go out on a Friday or Saturday night, what we would do is just pile into someone's dorm room and play FIFA or Madden or, or 2K, more often than not for money. Fast forward to me being an adult living in New York City, I really kind of long for that experience again. And so I thought, what is really the, the, the linchpin to bring people together like that through gaming? And I thought of hosting video game tournaments at bars. I would ask local bars in the Williamsburg area, hey, can I introduce a FIFA night? And my co-founder and I, Zach, started hosting video game tournaments at bars in October of 2014. What we realized is that people were not only coming for the potential to make money uh, playing video games, but also to connect with like-minded gamers and make friends. It was a serious grind and hustle. I was working a full-time job. I would lug a duffel bag full of like three or four Xboxes with controllers to work, like a 70-pound bag. And so we wanted to pivot that into a digital product because events require a lot of upfront capital. We're purchasing a lot of depreciating assets and consoles and games and controllers. And so the scalability of converting what we did um, as an event company into an app was a lot more enticing and the ceiling was much higher. And that required fundraising. And back in the day in 2014, we were having trouble raising money for an esports business, which now sounds crazy. People weren't really that interested. And so we really had to figure out creative ways to raise money, allow us to quit our jobs and, and do it full time. Before starting Players Lounge, I was a music producer. I had a lot of previous connections in that industry. And so when it was time to fundraise, I reached out to some of those contacts and was able to be introduced to Drake's manager, Feature the Prince. 
I pitched Drake and his team on a vision where anyone can make money playing video games. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are. It doesn't matter how good you are playing video games. We can give this opportunity to anybody. And additionally, there's a real cultural impact with video games. And I believe that there is a massive crossover in gaming, hip hop, and sports. And people like Drake play video games too. And they certainly play for money. And so I want Players Lounge to be a product that they use as well. Managing your finances, especially the startup, is an, a critical part of the business because most startups aren't making any money or enough to be profitable. And so you need to keep a very close eye on how much money is going out the door every month and monitoring your runway because if you're only six months away from your company going under, you might need to start fundraising a little earlier than you expected or you might need to cut costs. So if you aren't prioritizing managing and reviewing your, your financials and how much money you're spending and your expenses, et cetera, you could be setting yourself up for failure. A lot of our goal is just making it like easier to use and making it more accessible for like the average person because the more users we have, the more uh, exciting I think it'll be. It's been really exciting for me watching the product and the company grow. You know, when we started out, we were working the five of us in a little house in Palo Alto in California, and now we're here in New York. The company has grown considerably. The number of players online has grown considerably. It's been really gratifying to see that happen, and it's also been very exciting to see the, the product evolve. The most exciting part is when you try something and it works. That's not usually how it goes. You try a lot of things that don't work, but we've done some things that have had results and that's probably been the most exciting part. What I enjoy most about working on Players Lounge is that I'm building something that I would use and I love. And also, if you wanna be a pro gamer, you have to invest in a $5,000 PC. A lot of people do not have that money, especially those in black and brown communities. And so with Players Lounge, we are essentially allowing people who may not be able to afford that stuff and can afford a PS4 or, or Xbox the opportunity to instantaneously make money playing video games without a massive investment in, in, a, in a pro career. So what's next for Players Lounge? This year, we're going to get your favorite actor, singer, rapper, producer, NFL player, NBA player, WNBA player, all using Players Lounge. It's been really exciting to see the community and the product evolve from when I started three years ago to, to where it is now. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing where we are in a year or in five years. Thanks for watching my episode of My Hustle. You can follow Players Lounge on Instagram and Twitter at, at Players Lounge and make sure you subscribe to Whistle.